私は山吹さーやポッピンパーティーではドラムを担当してます家の手伝いしたり弟と妹の面倒を見たりで毎日結構忙しくしてるけどバンドも楽しんでるよ霞に誘ってもらって嬉しかったしねあそうそううち山吹ベーカリーっていうパン屋なんだ霞も時々手伝ってくれてるんだけどまあだいたい弟と妹と遊んでばっかだねあうそうそいつも助かってますそんな感じでバタバタしながら頑張ってるよいい感じのメンバーが揃ってると思うから私たちのライブ見に来てほしいな Hey guys, welcome back to my Bang Dream Girls Band Party Character Analysis Series. Today we're going to be concluding our analysis on the Popping Party characters with our final member. Although she was the first to become friends with Kasumi, she was also the last to join her band. It's everyone's older sister, Saya Yamabuki. Saya Yamabuki is the drummer of the band Popping Party and is voiced by Ohashi Ayaka. She is a first year student at Hani Sakigawa Girls High School but has been a student there since middle school. We first see Saya in the anime when she bumps into Kasumi trying to find her home room. Kasumi notices a scent of bread coming from Saya and Saya tells her that her parents own a bakery. Saya then offers the hungry Kasumi a piece of candy and they quickly befriend each other. Throughout the first half of the anime, Saya takes on a supportive role for Kasumi, always being there for her to comfort her or offer some advice. There's also several scenes that foreshadow Saya's character arc later on. In episode 1, Saya was invited by Natsuki, a middle school friend, to go to Livehouse Space and watch the concert together. Saya contemplates going in but decides against it. In episode 2, when Saya notices Kasumi in class 1B talking to Arisa, Saya takes a look around the classroom. Seeing that Natsuki is there, she quickly disappears from sight. In episode 3, Saya is once again invited to Livehouse Space, but this time by Kasumi. Saya rejects the offer, telling Kasumi that she has to take care of her little brother and sister instead. We don't learn why exactly Saya is avoiding Natsuki until the beginning of Saya's character arc in episode 6, which starts with a flashback to when Saya was in middle school. These middle school flashbacks happen throughout the span of two episodes, but I will be talking about them all at once to keep things simple. During middle school, Saya joined a band called Chispa, which consisted of her friend Natsuki, as well as Mayu and Fumika, two other girls from a different school. Saya was the drummer of the band, and they were all very excited for their first live performance at the cultural festival in two weeks. Saya was very close to all of Chispa's members, and they even bought matching hair scrunchies to perform with. On the day of the performance, Saya gets a phone call from her mother, but it was actually her little brother and sister calling in desperation. Saya ran home as fast as possible, abandoning her band members. After Chispa's performance, they all visit Saya to try to comfort her about leaving to help her mother and tell her that they'll perform together again someday. Saya overhears her band members talking about her and her feeling of guilt grows. She eventually tells the other members that she is quitting the band. Without any kind of explanation, Saya walks away alone with her band members calling out to her. Saya had kept her worries to herself and made up her mind on her own. Without having any sort of closure, the disbandment had bothered the members of Chispa ever since including Saya herself. This concludes all the events that happened before the start of the anime. We'll be talking about what happens to Saya that helps her overcome her past in a little bit, but first let's switch topics and discuss her relationship diagram. For band members, I don't think I need to repeat myself again, but I will anyway. Asmi, Rimi, and Tai are all in class 1A with Saya, and Arisa is in class 1B. For school and classmates, it's pretty much the same as the rest of the popping party members. Finally, for friends, we can see that Saya has plenty of out-of-school interactions with the other girls. Saya knows Mocha from her being a frequent customer of Yamabuki Bakery. Moi is close friends as well, both being a fellow drummer and older sister. During the impromptu wedding dress event story, Saya was paired up with Kaoru in a photo shoot for a wedding dress shop. Tomoe and Akko barge in to stop them, misunderstanding the circumstances. In the Tomoe SOS Grand Nursing Operation event story, Saya plays a minor role alongside Hagumi and Tsugumi. They all gift Akko food items to feed Tomoe with. Yamabuki Bakery, Kitazawa Butcher Shop, and Hazawa Cafe are all nearby in the downtown food district, which explains the connection between the three girls. With all that being said, let's move on to the final section where we'll discuss Saya's character development. Saya's character arc in the anime is the longest and most fleshed out, but it doesn't need as much of an in-depth analysis as the other Poppin' Party members. I will simply be going through the events of what happened with explanations for several scenes. Kasumi becomes president of the Cultural Festival Planning Committee for their class and nominates Saya to be vice president. The entire class agrees that only Saya can keep up with Kasumi and she accepts her role. The role comes with a lot of supplementary work that needed to be done after school, which resulted in Saya going home late. 
Sai is concerned about not arriving in a timely fashion, with her parents telling her not to worry about it. Kasumi has a sleepover with Sai in order to write the lyrics for the cultural festival song, but Kasumi falls into a slump. The girls take a break and Kasumi tells Sai that she knows the song will be great because of all her friends. They end their break with a promise to sing together one day. At school the following day, Saya is confronted by her old friend Natsuki. Natsuki sees the Pop and Party poster have Saya's name on it and assumes that she has joined another band. Saya quickly denies it though, saying that it was just a mistake. With the cultural festival being three days away now, Saya's trauma of her past becomes more apparent, and even her mother tells her that it isn't healthy to bottle up her feelings. Kasumi's group eventually learns about Saya's past from Natsuki when they visit Edogawa Music Store. Natsuki explains that Saya never told her the reason she quit the band and how it has always bothered her not to know. Kasumi confronts Saya about the issue that night, and Saya tells her about her sickly mother and how she is currently feeling. Kasumi wants Saya to join her band, but Saya remains obstinate. The two have a heated argument until Saya's younger sister Sana enters the room and starts crying. As it turns out, the rest of Popping Party were downstairs and could hear the both of them arguing. The other girls tell Saya some words of encouragement and then go back to Arisa's place. Kasumi angrily erases the lyrics that she had been working on and starts to write them from scratch. On the morning of the cultural festival, Saya finds an envelope addressed to her when she is getting ready to leave for school. When she turns around to ask her mother about it, she sees her feeling sick and takes her to the hospital. When Saya's dad arrives at school to deliver the bread, Kasumi asks about Saya and he tells her that his wife was feeling anemic. At the hospital, when Sana asks Saya about the cultural festival, Saya assures her that she will be staying here. Saya's mother notices her daughter's unease though. Saya receives a voice message from Kasumi telling her that everything is alright at the cultural festival. She also mentions the song lyrics that she had left for her in the morning. After reading them, Saya breaks down into tears. Saya's mother and siblings see her crying and they tell her to go to the cultural festival. Saya runs as fast as possible to get to school and she makes it back in time for Pop and Party's final song. Kasumi, Arisa, Rimi, and Tai welcome her with open arms and five of them finally play together as a band. What can we say about the events that happened to Saya? What Saya's mother says to her before she runs off to the cultural festival perfectly summarizes Saya's problem. Saya is a kind person who is often burdened with a lot of responsibility and as a result has no kindness left for herself. When she got caught up in band activities in middle school, it meant coming home late after practice and not being with the family as much. Saya felt responsible for not being there for her mother when she collapsed during the day of Chispa's first performance. Not only did she felt like she failed her family, but she also felt like she failed her band by abandoning their performance to go home. With her priorities now set on familial matters, this left no time for her to practice with her band. After overhearing the extra effort the other members had to go through in order to compensate, she couldn't handle the guilt and quit the band without explaining herself because she thought it would only make things worse if they knew. When Kasumi confronted Saya about her past, this only led to an argument with both sides failing to properly explain their feelings. What Kasumi couldn't convey in words, she would try to convey through music, and she completely rewrote the lyrics of the cultural festival song. The lyrics of Starbeat, Hoshi no Kodo, translates to something like this. These song lyrics are written from the perspective of Saya, describing how she is currently feeling and how she should move on. There has always been a part of Saya that admired bands and being in one, and even though she tried to reject it time and time and again, she always kept that part of herself. When she received Pop and Party's song from Tai, she almost deleted it, but in the end she couldn't do it. Saya was convinced that no one could understand what she was going through, but Kasumi's lyrics changed her mind. The family that she had always been supporting was the final push she needed, this time supporting her to go to the cultural festival to pursue her own starpy. Saya's character arc concludes with a confrontation with Chispa, her old band. Natsuki, Mayu, and Fumika tell Saya that it was fun being in a band with her and that they never felt like she was a burden. Saya returns those feelings, and everyone gets the closure that they had always wanted. Before Saya enters the gymnasium, Chispa's new drummer gives Saya her drumsticks to play with. In a way, this scene symbolizes both sides moving on with their lives and not letting the events of the past burden them. Chispa moving on with a new drummer, and Saya moving on with a new band. One thing that wouldn't change was their love for music, and in the end, they would both pass the audition to perform at Space's final concert. In conclusion, Saya is a girl that loves her family and her friends and tries very hard to support them in every way she can. Her kindness was also a weakness of sorts since she often prioritizes others above herself. When she does overexert herself though, you can bet that her friends are always willing to reciprocate her kindness. I hope you guys enjoyed my analysis on Saya as well as the rest of the Popping Party members. Please do tell me your thoughts on Saya, if you like her or not, if she's your best girl. You can leave those in the comments down below. I'm also going to be pitching my new YouTube channel Kasumida where I'll be uploading Bang Dream related stories. You can read about all the Bang Dream stories that you might have missed out on or anything that might interest you. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another character analysis, this time of a new band.